G'day viewers, my name is Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world and lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists do what they do. Well, okay, folks, well, we are in Bo Morris in Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. We've come down to spend the day with a very talented portrait artist, Mr. Keelan Ashton Bell. How are you, Keelan? Good. Welcome to the show. Now, before we start today's show, there are some people that we need to thank for having Keelan on the show, and they are some sponsors that step up and really make these things happen for Colour in Your Life and for a lot of the artists that we work with. Uh, a gentleman from America, Max Arkey. And uh, Max actually is from a company called Red Fog, and they actually are involved with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and blockchain. And, and Mark, Max was very, very generous to be able to, particularly on the other side of the world, to step up to Keelan and, and help him out with what he's doing, which I think is great. So pop in and see Max and his wonderful team of guys over there. I think personally, Bitcoin, my son is one of the major Bitcoin dealers in Australia and uh, has obviously done very well out of it, and that's the way of the future. So we'd like to thank Max very much and, and Red Fog as well. And also Mr. Alex Holzer. And Alex has been very generous in backing a lot of the artists that we work with these days, and he has hydrocrawl paints down there here in Melbourne, some of the best paints that you can get, and they are non-toxic. We'll be using those today. And uh, just really wanted to thank those guys for stepping up to the plate as well. Now, you like to paint celebrities. I do. Yeah, yeah, many of them. And uh, the gentleman that we're actually doing today, he looks a bit like my oldest son too, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, his name is? Uh, his name is, he goes by an artist named Yellow Wolf, but he actually just changed it to MWA. MWA. Yeah. Strange stuff. Uh, <laughs> you actually went to the uh, Brighton Bay School of Art and Design. Yes. And you also got a, uh, is it, I think it's a diploma or degree from Chisholm TAFE as well. Uh, diploma of Illustration. Okay, there you go. Um, you paint on MDF board. Yes. Yeah, which is a, this is sort of going to be a bit different today because Keelan, you know, everybody has their different techniques and Keelan obviously has his, but he does some really fantastic work and what I'm going to do once again is step out. He's going to use these fantastic paints today and then uh, we're going to go through the process of, as I said, I mean, some of this stuff I've never seen before anyway, but I'm going to get out of your way so that you can take over and we go from there. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right, Keelan, well, let's make a start on this particular piece uh -huh. and using MDF board. Yeah, I found out I like it a lot better. It, the paint soaks into it, so you can actually do a lot of things with it. You can make it look like watercolors, mm -hmm. oil paints. Um, you can do layers that soak in instead of painting on top of paints. So once the paint dries, it becomes a completely different uh, style of painting. and. A lot harder to blend in so I've got to work pretty quick it dries quickly but so it's what I do um, I'm just getting all the colors together for my skin tones that I make up um, so terracotta is a really nice color mm. got some the hydrocrylics are very earthy which are great for skin based colors so I like to make my highlights and shadows using purples and blues and turquoise as opposed to just adding a lighter color um, there's some pretty dynamic looking colours there as well. They are. I don't like to use black. I use Payne's, a Payne's grey. Just black can muddy them up and it can be too dominant. Mm -hmm. So if I want to make a really dark, I'll mix it with a with a brown umber. You've got a pretty intense palette there. These are these are all the colours to use just just to make the skin tone. <laughs> okay. And also use a flow medium. Yes. It just helps the uh, paint give a little bit longer to to dry and makes me not have to rush around. So it's a hydrocrawl flow medium. It is, yes. Beautiful. All right. All right, so I'll start off using some light pinks. And you just yellows. mix it straight onto the palette? Straight then? on the palette. Okay. This plastic that I do, it doesn't really dry and set on it uh -huh. for a couple of hours. Yeah. And then I just peel it off, really. Okay. So it's quite handy. So I get a, a general skin tone to start with. Bit of water, bit of flow medium. And what do you got there? What's that? What are those colours there at the moment? Uh, a yellow ochre, yeah. yellow oxide, red oxide. Yeah. 
So we sort of really start with a pretty intense sort of color, then we bring it back with um, some whites. And I actually use gesso as well, because I like it as a, I find it a bit of a stronger medium with the whites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just saw that one of the paintings that you've, you've got yes. is of um, Tupac Shakur. Yes. He was a bit of an icon back in the 90s. I grew up in the 90s, so yeah. basketball, music. Yeah. Sports, but very, very 90s based. I, I find that my favorite things to paint. But you actually, you've had a sporting and music and art background anyway. I mean, your mum and dad are both very artistic themselves. Unfortunately, your dad passed away at a young age, but he was also a f quite amazing realist artist as well. He was a uh, pencil work and, and watercolors, absolute yeah. phenomenal, hyper-realistic, very French styled works. And you've also got some fairly talented brothers as well. Now your twin, your younger brother, by five minutes, that's right. uh, is a professor of classical music. He is over in India. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So music's and, always running the family too. And then your other brother? He's a graphic designer okay. over in the UK there you go. For, for the band Bring Me The Horizon. So he's heavily involved in music and art that's as well. Fantastic. And I like to bring sport into it. <laughs> Well, you sort of, you're obviously a, a huge basketball fan as well. You play, yeah. you play basketball. Yeah, played, trained three times, four times a week. Played Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning, trained three yeah. games on a Sunday. Was uh, quite into it. And you got a picture of um, Steph Curry at the back there from the Golden State Warriors. Oh, yeah. I think they won the premiership last year. He's a freak. Yep, they yeah. won. Looking like they might win again, but who knows? Yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, so I like to generally get a a general skin tone base down sort of first. Um, flow medium makes it sort of absorb into the board as well so I can go pretty sort of quickly with the strokes. My main issue is in when I bring my colours into it I can't do them too quickly because I like to I like to bring my colours into it but there's the risk of starting it too early then it starts getting a bit of a bit of a blur so I've got to hold back when I do that. But basically I've got my main skin tone and then I use the colours to blend in on the board. So you've and said that um, Josh Keyes is a big influence on you. He's pretty amazing, isn't he? He is very amazing. His animal work and the actual the size of his paintings that he does them on are even more, mm. make it even more phenomenal because they're really, some of them are really quite small and the intricate details he gets on his, his animals and mm. his subject matter is very cool. I, I like it. It's very, very unique, very, very quirky. Yeah, he um, takes modern society and then uh, pops an animal in and sticks graffiti on it. And it's it's great. It's, <laughs> I haven't seen anything else like that. Like the influences I have, they can come from from anywhere. There's not just sort of one or two you know, influences. It's, especially with social media these days, you can see so many things. So you know, I've got my files and files of of pictures that I like. Doesn't mean you're, you're copying. You're, sort of just making your own things from things you see. Yeah. My main things I like to capture in my images are emotion. I mean, it's a still picture, so you gotta try to tell a story. Yep. So, this is one thing I love about painting portraits is the emotion that you can sort of capture from, from the picture. And that's sort of the way that I try to pick my, my uh, reference images. Sure. So what about um, pieces like Ashimal? Ashimal. Uh, that was based on uh, my be one of my best friends, Ash, and she's a massive collector. She's also an artist, Miss Cherry Martini. Yeah. Um, she also likes to collect taxidermies and skulls and all oddities like that. So I thought I'd um, incorporate that into a painting. So there you can sort of see I don't blend, I don't leave them all blended in perfectly. I like to sort of see the brush strokes. That mm -hmm. you know, depends on the artist if you like seeing all the brush strokes. It also depends on the piece. Every piece is different. Uh, you know, they're not all exactly the same. Well, I've noticed in the picture that you've got called Asher that you've got a mixture of blues and greys and reds. And, you know, you've got this juxtapose of warm and cool colours together. I yes. wanted that one to be very vibrant. I, yeah. Just his personality to me, you know, in quite a while. Asher is supposed to be a pretty amazing artist himself, or is an amazing artist himself. He's just an amazing person, really. It's a great piece. And this was an entry in the Archibald, wasn't that it? That was, yes. Yeah. And that's Alec. actually how I met Alex from Hydroquill, who also knows Asher because he uses all his paints. From there, the rest is history, as they yeah, say. It is. 
But you're always looking for a lot of emotion and passion. Yes. In what you do, it's so you can even see by some of the uh, the football pieces that you've done. Uh, dusty for a start. Not that I'm up on Victorian AFL, but. Uh, you can see the expressions in their face, obviously, after good, they've kicked a six-pointer. Good, a good scream <laughs> yeah, from uh, you know, an excited player is always... I've done that. Always a good... <laughs> yeah. I mean, you get emotional when you play sport, like, and the fans do as well. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's another good one of uh, Josh Kennedy as well. It's, looks like he's bench-pressing without the barbell. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about um, Max Arkey from Red Fog. Red I mean, Fog. how did he come about? Somebody from another country, another how, country. Did they, how did that come about that he said, look, I'd like to sponsor you for Colour in Your Life? Um, actually turned out that he's brother of a friend of mine that I went to school with who was looking for an artist to something, something a little bit different to the normal, normal logo. So he, my, my friend had showed him some stuff what I'd done and he, he approached me with that and I said, look, I go things about things a little bit differently. I do do digital work, but I mainly do my portraits and stuff. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in doing something, you know, a little bit different, a little bit more sketchy, not your common, common type of logo." So we did that. He's happy with that. Then he got in contact again. He wanted to use my artwork as icons for his um, cryptocurrency website and his um, online trading that he does. But yeah, no, no. We you know, really thank Alex and Max for what they've uh, what they've done. It uh, enables us to bring you guys to the rest of the world, which is uh, just wonderful. So I always test out a lot of my colours on a piece of paper as well. Also gets a lot of the paint off my brush that I don't really need. Now, apart from painting celebrities, you've also had a bit of a, I suppose you could say, a brush with with uh, celebrity when um, Chris Hemsworth ended up with one of your works as well. Yes, uh, that was for one of his Foxtel ads, actually. Got a call, uh, a message on well, social media. Someone had put my name towards this very, very vague ad saying, um, is anybody interested in painting somewhat famous Australian celebrity? Thought I, I'll sort of have a chat, mm -hmm. see what it's about. And it turns out, uh, eventually I showed him my work, he liked, liked my work, wanted to, um, so to go ahead and he, and he told me what, who, who it was. He says, for Chris Hemsworth, and yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm definitely doing this. When do we need it? When do we need it by? He said, this was on a Tuesday afternoon at about four o'clock. He said, we need it by Thursday. I'm like, all right, and where are you? We're in Sydney, and I'm in Melbourne. I'm like, all right. So that night, drew it up, painted it till about four in the morning, got it done, went back to work. Sent it off to getting couriered up to Sydney the next day on the Wednesday. I went back to work and then passed out of my daughter's princess tent the next night at about 7, <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> I figured I should have just gone up and driven it myself up there. It's a good place to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got through the bedtime story. <laughs> I mean, some of your work has got a little bit of a, a pop element to it as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean the picture of David Bowie as an old Ziggy Stardust. Well, everyone did the normal <laughs> Ziggy Stardust. I wanted to do something a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, still got that sort of little graphic designish element to it. Um, probably from Chain as an illustrator. Yeah. Um, but also just trying to be that blending sort of everything that I've learnt about, you know, studied, and that sort of made me where I am today. So. Mm -hmm. Now you've also done um, some amazing work on skateboards as well, on the decks of skateboards and sort of used them as a, I think a sculptural medium. Yeah, I, the, I, I, I put it. the plywood, I, I, find, I really enjoy um, working on them, so sometimes it's because of the shape, <laughs> yeah. they can be a bit noisy, I sort of bang them around, but um, yeah, I, I've nicknamed them um, deck heads, because they're a skate deck and portraits. Yeah, yeah I really enjoy doing the deck heads. So this I'm using a Payne's grey. As I said, it's very dark, like it pretty much almost looks like black, but it, it's not quite. And if it, when you're mixing it, it doesn't get so muddy. So I'm going to start. So I just. Well, you sort of beat the end in. Beat the end up because it's already it's lost its um, point. Yeah. And this way I can sort of get a bit of a dry brush stroke happening and start sort of flicking. You see, you're always testing it out beforehand. 
Yeah, I uh, use it with plain paper. There you go, good technique. It's really fine, I want really random marks. I might use so this brush, but only time I use a different, complete different brush. This one's, I kind of like this for sort of scattered facial hair, it's really, but it is a really random. So you've got a piece that you did of uh, Johnny Cash and it looks like just before he oh, uh, wrote Johnny. that song Hurt. Yes. Is that where it is? Yes, it is indeed. That was a good song, wasn't it? It was. I heard Very <laughs> today. <laughs> what, a, what a pain in that song. Yeah, dead musicians. Even uh, you've done a great piece of uh, Jim Morrison as well. I really enjoyed doing that one. From The Doors. Younger version as opposed to um, Johnny Cash's a little bit older. Well, I'm going to start blocking out the background, his yeah. hat, his shirt, or his scarf actually, he's yeah. got on. Um, the background I go a little bit different, I actually use, as a base um, colour, I use Posca Markers. Posca Markers. Because, as you'll see in a minute, they... They look pretty cool. They block out really well, and uh, for these I, want to, I don't want to be too textual, because I want the main face to be the main focus of the point, yeah. so you have a look at this. And they really, you do it in one sort of oh, yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't section, they? that will dry to sort of one tone. They're quite translucent, so they're vibrant, but translucent, so I can see any pencil work that I've done through it, so I don't have to be guessing or redrawing over. But you want to try to do it in one sort of section so it all dries sort of pretty much the same time then it'll dry nice and evenly but I'm going to paint out I'm going to mix it with some actual paint anyway so yeah depends on what you're doing if you're doing a solid block out color you want to try to do it pretty quickly yeah these pens are used by graffiti artists a lot as well they are now you can't now you have to buy them at certain places where they're behind oh is that behind right? glass little ones little ones you can yeah. not big fat ones Probably for that fact. So I've never seen that before, but it's just, it's like, it really is like paint, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. It's, it's quite quick. Cool. Same handling. I just try not to like get my hands in it, so I just sort of move the board around. And you can do, still do some sort of quite fine lines with it. Yeah, we can get different sizes as well. Yeah. But even, yeah, just the edge. Mm -hmm. You can still, even though they're not, they've still got a bit of an angle, they're still, yeah. still get quite a nice edge. That's amazing. The little ones you can go sort of a little bit finer. So what about the piece that you did called Little BB Kings and Queens? Is that, uh, that about your, your, your wee ones? It is um, Little BB Kings and Queens, a little baby box keepsafe series that I do. Um, basically started with looking for a Christmas present for my brother uh -huh. and his little, little son. Like, what can I do for him? And I found these boxes. I'm like, do you know what? I'm gonna paint, his son's name's Arlo, and I paint little Arlo on that. From that, started having a look around. Not too many um, products like that with custom painted children on there. Yeah. So they're all, they're all made to order. You've got a uh, picture called Fighting Foo. Yes. It's, it's probably out of the Foo Fighters, am I right? Based of, of Dave Grohl from the yeah, Foo Fighters. But you've used the technique similar to what you're doing now in the back of this one here. Yes. Which looks, which looks amazing. It so really that's does. kind of like my trademark sort of styles is blue and red. That wasn't blue, that was so red. The, so the blue goes down first and then the red? Red goes down first. Yeah. And I leave out the blue parts and then I gotta try to get them in yeah. nicely. So that can get sort of messy and a bit tricky. Oh, I see. So you just basically put the red down and leave the gaps for the blue to go in. Yes, but you know, the gaps aren't always the same uh, size as the pens. So yeah. there's a bit of fiddling about. Yeah, talking about lots of colour, you've got a yes. picture here called Lion. Uh, that was a commission. I used someone basically wanted a lion and just colour. So that's what I gave him. A little bit different for me because I generally work solely with um, skin tones mm -hmm. and then put the colour in. So that was a little bit different, a little bit of fun. All right, Keelan, I just wanted to bring up your website as well, and it is akillustrate.net. It is. So if anybody out there would like to go in and see what Keelan is doing, it's fabulous work. Does a lot of different things on the commercial side. Also works with different companies on creating designs. Your, um, your gorgeous wife, Rachel, is a big part of um, the support that, uh, that you have in going forth and 
creating a, a, a life and a career around art. It's very important to have those, those people with you along the journey. Oh, of course she is. She, you know, without that, you know, without that support, it's almost in a way meaningless, you know, like I could be doing it. You know, I got a small family, you know, mm. it's, not, it's not easy. It's, it's tough, it's work, it's, it's a lifestyle and yeah. that just makes it that much easier and that much enjoy more enjoyable to be able to do what I love with the support of my loved ones. And I get to spend more time with my kids. There you go. So that's a bonus. So absolutely, it's a bonus. Pretty much mainly at nights. So I'm up with them during the day. All right, I just need a bit, a bit more red. We're gonna make this hat a bit more come to life. Hydrocryl, what is it? It's a mid-red. Look at that. Hydrocryl mid-red. Beautiful. Nice and buttery and juicy. All right, so I just wanna start giving this a bit of, a bit of flexibility. Mm -hmm. Sort of imitate the material a bit. So we've got that base red there. You'll see when this dries that it really sort of, the tone sort of sits back. But again, I don't know, it's not the main emphasis of the painting, but it is important to get a bit of, a bit of texture in there. A bit of feel for the actual hat, shadows, mm -hmm. shape. Well, you've done a great job today, but it really, very interesting. I mean, some techniques and some um, I might have been products that I just simply wasn't aware of, which is really cool. So, but we've had a great day in the studio with you, and you've shown us your beautiful work and your um, your wonderful approach to life and what you do, which has been fantastic. So, thank you very much for having us here. Thank you, Graham. Well, a fantastic day, Kellen. Thanks, pal. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> that was really cool. I think you've got a fantastic uh, future ahead of you, what, what, what you're doing. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing and you're dynamic. You've got some great ideas um, put together as well. Um, also, obviously, before we go anywhere today, uh, once again, thank you to Alex Holzer from Hydrocryl. Uh, fantastic guy. He's really behind Colour in Your Life. An amazing man. And also Max Aki um, from Red Fog. Dot com in the United States. Um, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is definitely going to be the way that a lot of our business is done throughout the world as the younger generations move forward. So go on and see the guys from Red Fog as well. Um, there are most amazing things that they're doing also. Now, also your website address. Uh, Killerstrait.net. Yeah, go and have a look. Got a whole bunch of things going on in there. Yes. Just pretty amazing. We've had a fantastic day. Um, if you want to see more of uh, what we've got going on, go to colourinyourlife.com.au and also go to our Facebook page and come in and subscribe on our YouTube channel. It's getting very, very big and we've got tons and tons of things going on in there these days. I mean, we're literally all over the world, which is fantastic, but we're going to head off again. It's been a wonderful day. Great Thank young you. man, really, really has been. And as we always say, remember, make sure you put some colour in your life. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye now.